Hey guys, this is Mongolia Mindset, and today we will be um, interviewing one of our members of finest personality type. If you want to do that, um, you have to join the Discord and subscribe to the channel. But uh, Yusuf, can you introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Yusuf. I'm uh, very interested in uh, in imaginative writing. I like to like um, uh, enter myself in very different uh, fields of art. I like uh, I like various stuff. I'm a determined person, and I uh, could do anything to achieve what my goals and my dreams. Okay, so uh, just asking how you go about learning something new. Well, um, I always try to use different approaches to approach any things that could be like new. And uh, I always try to immerse myself in any new experience because I think that it could like uh, teach me something uh, that I didn't ha have the experience of it before. Do you find that to be tough, easy, like learning something new? What's your take with that? Well, well, anything is tough at the start, but uh, then you start... Uh, immersing yourself in it and uh, as usual you start to become better at what you do uh, what's something new you learned um well i uh, i i want i wanted to write a book and uh, to have all like i have a crazy imagination so um i wanted to make a video game about all the characters and the things that I imagine every day. So I wanted um, to learn like various uh, art stuff, uh, game engines, and uh, actually uh, uh, doing uh, things like uh, 3D modeling. And uh, I always like to like, uh, sometimes I dream about learning everything that could be possibly learned, but I interested in psychology and things like that. And philosophy, it's all very interesting to me, understanding my mind and uh, all these kind of stuff. It's amazing, actually. What do you think holds you back, man? Well, um, what's holding me back? Yeah. I think what's holding me back is uh, is myself, uh, my fear of things. And uh, I think I fear a lot of things sometimes. So what's holding me back is... Uh, Different. I uh, I always set myself to a very high standard too, like I have always uh, this thing that I have to like reach, and um, some people tell me that uh, I almost like kill myself to reach my uh, thing and stuff. So like this, uh, and nothing holds me back. Hmm. Like uh, uh, this is easy. It's easy. Okay. So what has been one of the toughest things you've learned? Or done? Uh, the toughest thing I learned? Yeah, or done. Mm, the toughest thing I done? I think the toughest thing I done is uh, overcoming my fears and uh, and trying to like control myself and my emotions because I sometimes burst in anger and stuff. I am re uh, not really good at dealing with anger. Sometimes I like like I, I try to control it, but like I burst out of anger and uh, and sometimes I like I'm usually cold, but sometimes other times I'm like a crybaby. So, what what do you think that comes That's, from? Uh, what do you think about what? Or what do you think that comes from? Uh, well, I really don't know. I think uh, uh I don't uh, actually know what. What it comes from, I don't know. Okay. Uh, so you, you say you do have fears, man. So like, uh, how do those fears um manifest? I think those fears manifest in uh, various things. I as a as a absolute things that I fear is failure. I fa I fear uh, failure and uh, not achieving what I want and not reaching uh, my standards. Of what I imagined to myself, so that's what I fear the most, and I couldn't be this version that I and 
and like uh, if my life sucks uh, later on so i always fear it okay so you feel like not getting the dream that you envision for yourself yes exactly yeah that's what i feel what, what do you think is something you need to work on I definitely need to work on uh, uh, the fears I have and uh, need to work on myself in uh, everything. Uh, everything always needs to progress and uh, become wiser and become like older in my personality and uh, learning uh, things in, in everything in life. That's what I think I have to do. Thomas, anything? Sure. Um. So you, you talk about you know goals and achieving things. So so what what are you trying? What kind of goals are goals are you trying to have, or what are you trying to achieve? And where do you see yourself in like the next five or ten years? I'm like, trying. You... Well, um, future is always undetermined. I cannot determine some things that uh, have uh, very different outcomes or possibilities. So. Uh, like future, I cannot determine what my future will be, but I'm definitely working on myself to reach a good future, whatever it will be. So I'm just working and uh, hoping to become better every day, but I cannot determine the future that will come. Uh, just like that. Okay, but you, you talked about, you know, um, you talked about the importance of like, you know, achieving things. So what what are you trying to trying to achieve? Well, I'm trying to achieve. Uh, uh, I'm trying to achieve my book, my comics, and uh, my my characters that I wrote. I'm trying to be like famous and gaining uh, the things I deserve, or sing uh, that I sing that this world need to see my visions and my crazy imaginations and stuff. So I think that uh, this is my absolute thing that I'm trying to achieve, like to uh, to publish that book, uh, to become popular in that field. Um, to become the absolute best in everything, and like that, uh, uh, just like that. Gotcha. That's good, man. Um, man. Um, hmm. When when what does a typical weekend look like for you? A week. Weekend. Well, uh, my week is not like usually organized, but um. Sometimes I like uh, try like working on different things that I love for uh, my Polish starts and stuff. And um, uh, like um, I have like a typical like it's not organized, but I, there's things that I have a routine in like uh, sports and stuff and gym. I have a routine and everything I do in it. But uh, there is a structure to it. But uh, and uh, different things, like I'm not so organized in it. I can do something that I feel like it and uh, things that other things that I feel like it's in. Uh, just like that. But in my absolute week, I try to achieve like almost possible thing that I could do. I think that what I try to do, like. Okay. Um, I mean, um, what's the best piece of advice you've received? As best piece of advice, mm -hmm. the best piece of advice I think that um, at uh, uh, like no one is uh, no one is very uh, high or big or sing. Like we are almost like as humans, we are all the same. We're all trying to learn and stuff. So I don't think that there is a king or something. We're all in like the same dead living. There's just these stupid rules that we all are all put to ourselves and living in the fear of it. So I think that is the best life lesson I have learned until now. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is your greatest skill? My greatest skill, well, I think my greatest skill is my uh, determination to achieve things and like uh, this uh, motivation that I always have, like I never uh, 
feel unmotivated or uh, feel kind of lazy. I ne I'm never lazy. I'm always uh, on the go. So that's my greatest skill to always try to like uh, destroy the obstacles that are trying to uphold me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just like you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, what got you into typology? We didn't talk about that. Uh, well, uh, at first, uh, it was like this 16% test, like everyone. And after that, I am uh, was interested in everyone's psychology and stuff. So I started learning about the MBTI and the function and uh, everything about it. It was like... Um, great knowing about how uh, people could sync or could be joined into a one group so i saw that uh, that would help me understanding myself understanding other people around me and stuff yeah yeah that's totally understandable there. um and um thomas anything <laughs> um sure uh if if you had three wishes, you could have anything you want. What 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 would those three wishes be? As uh, three wishes, three wishes. Well, my first wish would be um, uh, to get my book viral and uh, to have everyone uh, knowing it. My second wish uh, is to be the greatest in everything, like being uh, on the top and uh, getting the attention I deserve. And my third wish is. Uh, to acknowledge the the secrets of this universe and uh, knowing every something that uh, no one ever known, the things that uh, no one could understand and stuff. This is my three wishes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is three words to describe you? I sing my three words. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the first word: uh, imaginative, uh, determined. And um, um, strange. Why strange? I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm sometimes weird. And uh, uh, I don't know. I think that I'm weird. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's understandable. I don't think I'm going to draw this out too much longer, man. Uh, it would have killed me and Thomas to <laughs> draw it out. Um. <laughs> Man, we got your type. Um, so what we noticed very easy on about you um, is that you're abstract, man. Crazy. You talked about having a crazy imagination. Um, you talked about the characters that you're trying to make real. You talked about the video games. Those yes, are exactly. things that do not currently exist in the world. Uh, but that's part of your vision, NI, um, that you want to bring to the world. Um, so that 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 hits you for abstract and NI there. Um and you dream about learning everything, you know, dreams, like interpreting dreams and stuff. That's more of an abstract thing to do. Um, <clears throat> you know what you imagine for yourself. That's in I. Um, everything needs to progress, right? You need the progression in life. So progression, they're hoping to be better every day. Progression again. Um, the world needs to see my vision. All right. And I, um, you want to be the absolute best, right? That's T-E-N-I. You know, very strong there. Um, you work on different projects that you love. That's FI there. Um, you have a routine that's in everything, but you're not very organized. Organized. Yeah. So the, the, I hit you for systematic there because you have a systematic uh, attach um, view to the way you attack things. Um, you try to achieve everything possible every week. Okay, we got you for TE there. Um, determination. Uh, to achieve your goals never wanes, right? That's your NI. It never wanes. is always there. Um, you want to destroy your goals and your obstacle. Man, you're doing a good job, man. So N-I-T-I, -I, I mean, N-I plus T-E there. Um, you care about popularity and fame and going viral. Um, that's a T-E-F-I thing because that's going to create inner harmony within yourself. That's going to make you feel good about yourself. Um, those achievements in themselves make T users feel good, and that's the reason why we attach it to T-E-F-I. Um, getting the detention you deserve. That was, that was hilarious. Um, and you said for the three things was imaginative, abstract, determined, and I, uh, and strange. So, um, yeah, so we got you for direct responding, abstract progression, um, T E F I. So we have you as an INTJ. 
Um, what do you type yourself as? Well, great. Hmm. Uh, I'm always saw myself as like um, uh, an ENFP or an ENTP like kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But like uh, recently, I discovered like I may have like FI and like TE. I saw, I saw about it. So, but I never thought like I have an eye because like I always like have like a, a very wide ma imagination, like a very, very wide imagination. So I thought like an eye is, uh, is like more narrow and mm -hmm. more like progression in the story. But I have like very multiple stories in my world, like mm -hmm. always coming with new ideas. So I saw the, like an eye can do that. Like any is like all about different stories. So I thought like I could never be an eye. Uh, that was like what I thought. Yeah. Uh, so there's a, a a very difference between NI and NE. A lot of times, the big thing is that in NI is going to be attached to the vision that you have for yourself, um, the path that you see for yourself. You seem to see that road very clear, right? And you seem to be unwavering in that path to get there, right? Um, as an ENTP, you might try this, 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 that, this, this, that. To you, it's the book, it's the characters, it's that it's gonna happen. That's what you're going for. You're going mm -hmm. for definition. You're not backing down from that. Um, as in the ENTP would just drop their hat everywhere it follows, you know, and then over time find their passion and go from there. Um, but you seem to already know that and know where you're going. I don't know. You don't look that old to me, so it seemed to be like something that's kind of always been there for you. Um, so I mean, we just have to conclude INTJ, and then with all that TE, man, there's so much TE. I want to be the best, the best, the best, the best, the best, the best. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, it's just it's uh it's it's pretty obvious there. Thomas, you, you want to talk about what you saw or anything like that? Or... Uh, I mean, well, I mean, just like like Mercer's saying, I mean, yeah, your your vision's very clear. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, and like 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 you like your you may have different stories like within like what you're working on, but like your focus is very singular. Like you're like, whenever we ask you about your achievements or whatever, it's always, always the book, your like the, the characters, so on and so forth. It's very, it's very linear, you know? Mm -hmm. Whereas like Mercer's saying like, um, yeah, if you were like, if you were ENTP or ENFP, like you would be probably be so unfocused that you wouldn't, you, you would be like, oh, I have, I'm interested in this book. Then I have like fucking five or six other fucking things that I'm also, that I also want to work on. Mm -hmm. um, didn't really see any evidence for that. And even though I I don't think we really seen it like based on our conversation, uh, which we didn't really talk about a lot, we didn't see a lot of evidence for pragmatism. But there's really no evidence for you being affiliative either. You didn't talk about anything like affiliative related. Um, I just I yeah I don't I don't see any evidence for ENTP or ENFP. I thought I thought it was pretty clear very quickly that you're direct that you're very direct. That's another thing. Um, there's nothing there's nothing informative about what you're saying. There's nothing open ended. It's very clear and concise. Um, yeah, so I would think. Yeah, I think you're. Uh, you think he's he's is he is he like a creative INTJ or I'm not not sure how I'd categorize him, but um, you're, I don't you're know maybe exactly a little... how to categorize him. I feel like he's going through the N and the C, <laughs> N and the C, you know, kind of like. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. think you're you're a little bit different because usually INTJs are not like usually they, they don't they're not involved like in what you're involved in, but you do find some that are you know like uh that are that like like writing stories or you know comics you know stan lee was is, a, is an intj um so well, yeah they're they're out there yeah they're out there yeah a lot of people tells me that i'm sometimes like uh emotionless or lack empathy um uh, and harsh and stuff so yeah uh that's like could be something yeah that's um, low fe low yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. um you're you're all, all about the inner harmony, not not the outer harmony. Yeah, pretty much dead. Exactly. <laughs> but I mean, uh, the best piece of advice I would tell any uh, INTJs, you do have to care about outer harmony, man. Um, that's what's gonna help you get to where you need to go. Um, if you're if everybody hates you, eventually that road is gonna blow up on itself, right? It's just it's just there. It's gonna happen. Just a matter of time. It may be you may be close to the finish line, uh, but you do end up having to care about other people and put you may have to sacrifice yourself for other people. I know it sounds tough, but you better start now because it, it's 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 everything is a skill. And the more you use it, the better you get. And uh, 
Yeah, you don't want those. I mean, I don't know if you want to have kids or anything like that. That can also be very tough for kids, you know, very tough for a wife. You might be going through three, four, five, six divorces, you know, stuff like that. Like, you know, if you could get ahead of the curve and start working on it, you'll get better results. And at the end of the day, it's about results, man, especially if you're in uh, NTJ. It's about results, bottom line. Um, and seeing things before it happened, you know, don't be uh, be proactive, not reactive. Well, thanks to you. Uh, really, uh, really thanks. No, oh, man, anytime, man. It was a pleasure, man. You got any questions or anything? Uh, no, thanks. I don't have any questions. Well, if you uh, have any it. questions, just let me know, man. Thanks. Right, Absolutely man. like my uh, your videos. Thanks. Thank you, man. You have a good day, man. See you in a little bit, Thomas. Yeah, see ya.